Right, we're on. Today we're going to talk about a lesson I've just done with somebody. The guy's name was Joe, and Joe had a problem flipping the club over. He missed the target to the left, his ball started left, went further left because he was too active with the hands. So we worked on a few things, then we created a drill to make sure Joe prevent or to stop Joe from doing this, obviously. And the results were excellent. Joe started hitting the ball straight and actually got a little fade a couple of times. Um, this is what happened. Checking my hair's alright. Looks good, eh? Right, so Joe, Joe flipped the ball, flipped the club. He missed the target left a lot because he was so active with the hands, just incredibly flippy with the hands. Joe's coming in here and he's really swinging from the wrist there and there's a lot of that motion going on. And of course when he's doing that, the club face is closing dramatically, de-lofting it and going left. The low left ball for Joe. Thing is though, Joe's strike was really good. So he actually made very good contact with the golf ball, but just, as I say, just lost, lost it left. Going left. I'll tell you what, he struck it better than that. <laughs> so he was left, going left. Let me try it again. Yeah, so that started left of intended target and curving further left. Here at Peebles Golf Club, we have, I think it's 11 holes out of bounds on the left, so that's not a good shot for Joe. Had the out-of-bounds been 11 on the right-hand side, then this wouldn't have been such an issue and we wouldn't have toned it down quite as much because a right-to-left golf ball, ball flight's very good. I mean, all my Eureka stuff is kind of right-to-left flight or reducing the left-to-right, so I mean, I'm happy with that sort of flight, but certainly not in this golf course when you're snapping it that far left. So, I explained to Joe that he had to have a little bit more structure through impact. His wrists had to be a little bit more solid less flip and just much more solid through the shot so the fulcrum being the left shoulder through the impact zone and not from the left uh, wrist sorry um, it wasn't just the left wrist doing that it was also closing the face over so i had to quieten this whole assembly down well, that's all very well but joe found that hard to do purely because he was so handsy he would try and kind of hold the club off a little bit more but he'd still get the left one because he was still quick and still so used to doing this motion with the wrists. He also plays a lot of tennis, he told me. He had a lot of forehand snap. Um, I, I don't know much about tennis, but certainly, sorry, table tennis, table tennis. Let's get forehand snap. And he said that that was an influence on it because he took golf up after his table tennis. Just have to do that. So, hard for Joe to take this movement out of the game. So what we did was we started off with Joe in a position where his club face was already closed. So his club face is now pointing left of target, which is the ball's ending there, and to him that was completely alien. The last thing he wanted to do was go further left. The actual thought of going further left for Joe kind of freaked him out a little bit. And of course, if I've taken his club face and turned it to the left, so it's now pointing left of target, he was not a happy man. So I got this unhappy man. <laughs> to close the club face about, about 30 to 40 degrees to the left that address and then grip the club. So he closed his face about 30 to 40 degrees, grip the club, then I asked him to try and hit a straight golf shot. So to begin with Joe realised that if I swing normally, or if he swings normally, his club face is going to be even further left, he's probably going to hit that wall from this black mat. And, and that to him was a sort of trigger of thinking, okay, I have to, I have to manipulate the impact. I have to do what's opposite of what I normally do and feel as though I lift the handle of the club up a fraction to leave the face square. Now when Joe was doing that, so he, beforehand he was like this, then we closed the face, address and then the impact, he had to do this motion. So you could see he was using ground forces. He was standing up a little bit more he was getting the hands to lead a little bit more, the hands were ahead of the golf club at impact, he wasn't letting the club pass the hands as before. He was here, so much flatter left wrist, all of a sudden through impact, this was the fulcrum of the swing, and no longer here. So a lot of good things happened from standing with the face closed at address. Joe reacted to that very well. So the club face was closed, 
there, club came back and then from there we've managed to square the face up. And he got a good strike, that wasn't a great strike, but you can see how, I mean, for me it wasn't a great strike, so how awkward it was for Joe was just, I mean, just incredible. And he's got, the guy's got the fear already of going left, and I've asked him to point his club face left. So you can imagine the exaggeration he had to prevent the ball going left. And he managed to get some straight shots, he managed to get a couple of fades in there as well. And as I say, it was much more structured than impact. The structure at impact was the flat left wrist, the hands leading the shot, so he was getting a little bit more ball turf strike, which was absolutely fantastic. And straighter flight as well, and he was able to control the club face through impact. He was much more structured with the left hand, there was no breaking over, he managed to use this section, the left fore, left shoulder as a fulcrum. It changed him altogether, and I really didn't tell him to do much at all. I just said, close the face and re-grip the club. Hit it straight, please. What about that for a golf lesson? You spend £25, £30, and the guy tells you to stand at a dress, close the face, grip the club, now hit it straight please. Okay, I'll try that. Wow, that was basically the lesson. That was it, so that's Joe, I wrote this down, all my lessons I write them down, take a photo of the notes, Joe can take the photo of the notes, or I'll text the photo of the notes to him. But that's all it really says, is the dress wall, Close face, grip club. Now please hit it straight. And he did. Joe is no longer a flipper. Guys, if you've subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. I bring content on here twice a week. And it's all to try and make everyone better at golf and everybody enjoy the game and stay in the sport for longer. Um, please hit the bell notification, that will give you instant notifications of all my videos. And of course the thumbs up shares it around YouTube, which is fantastic. If you've not checked out my website, eurekagolfswing.com, please go there now. I'll leave the links below and it'll just open up a whole new world to your golf. Thank you.